اوكي كده نشغل تايمر النهارده هن حرك تاب ميك تايم تجربه يعني سلسله جديده من هقرا وهترجم يعني عشان اركز في الكلام اكتر انت ما بتقرا وما بتترجمش في كلام بيطير ومنها برضو اتعود على ايه سكيل بتاعت ستوري تيلينج انا عارف ستوري اقول قصه اتكلم بتاع وان انا برضو اترجم بسرعه يعني انت كده ترجم كل الكلمات فدي سكيل كويسه تعال نحسب ساعه نعمل ستريم ساعه ااا آه. ماشي يلا بينا ميك تايم يعني ايه ميك تايم؟ يقول لك يعني ازاي تركز على الاشياء التي ذات ماترز كل يوم الاشياء المهمه بتاع جيك ناب وجون زيراتسكي يلا نبدا آه. اي كلام بوشن زيس Book includes authors' thoughts on diet and exercise that is supplied for informational purposes only and not meant to take place of a doctor's advice. Okay. Yeah, let's go to the. Well, like there is more of life than increasing its speed. Well, like, يعني ما ما هي ما ما هي تما غاندي غاندي بيقول لك إن الحياة فيها أكتر من إن أنت تمشي اسرع صح؟ هيجس ان انت تجري فيها يعني او تزود سرعتها من الحياه كبيره مش صغيره يلا انتروداكشن بقول لك مقدمه بقول لك ازاي الناس بتتكلم الايام دي بيقول لك واحد يساله انت عامل ايه؟ يقول له مشغول والكالندر بتاعنا بيبقى شكله كده كله بيزي ماندي تيوزداي وينزداي ثيرزداي فرايداي كله بيزي وكل اليوم وطول النهار طول اليوم التليفون ما بيبطلش نوتيفيكيشنز حتى بالليل ما بيكونش عندك يو ار تو تايرد تكون تعبان جدا في اللي انك حتى تتفرج على نتفليكس يو ايفر لوك باك اند وندر وات ديد اي ريلي دو توداي هل عمرك بتبص تسال نفسك انا عملت ايه النهارده يو ايفن داي دريم او تحلم بالمشاريع والنشاطات اللي انت بتحلم ان انت تحققها في يوم الايام واليوم ده عمرك عمره ما بيجي. This book about slowing down the crazy rush. انت تهدى الكتاب ده اللي انت تهدى. It's about making time for things that matter. وتعمل وقت للحاجات المهمه. We believe it's possible to feel this busy. ممكن تشعر بانك اقل انشغالا. And less distracted, or أقل تشتتا, and enjoy the present moment more. Would stand to actor بلحظة. Maybe, maybe that sound that sounds a little hippy dippy, but we are serious. ممكن الكلام ده يبقى أي كلام لكن نحنا جادين. Make time is not about productivity. إن أنت تعمل وقت مش معناه الإنتاجية. It's not about getting more done, finishing your to dos faster, or outstanding your life. ولكن It's a framework. هي framework مصممة لأن أنت تساعدك to actually create more time in your day for things that you care about. لأن أنت تعمل وقت في يومك للأشياء اللي أنت بتهتم فعلاً بها. Whether that's spending time with your family, learning a language, starting a side business, volunteering, writing a novel, or mastering Mario Kart. Whatever you want. Time for. I am can. The entire is what Lee. We think make time can help you get it. ما إن هما بيفكرين إن make time يقدر يخليك توصل لكده. Moment by moment, لحظة بلحظة, يوم بيوم تقدر تخلي حياتك بتاعتك. We want to start by talking about why life is so busy and chaotic. دي الحياة. مشغولة وزحمة كده الأيام دي and and why if you feel constantly stressed or distracted it's probably not your fault لو أنت حاسس إنك مضغوط مشتت فده مش غلط مش خطأك in the 21st century قرن 21 two very powerful forces 
compete for every minute of your time في قوتين بيتصارعوا على كل لحظة في وقتك على كل دقيقة في وقتك The first is what we call the busy bandwagon bandwagon اللي هي العربية ال ال ايه ايه ده bandwagon اللي بتاع دي عربية عربية السيرك عربية بحصان يعني حنطور bandwagon حنطور The busy bandwagon is our culture of constant busyness ايه بقى ديت بيقول لك الحنطور المشغول ده معلم هو is our culture of constant business هو طبيعة الانشغال الدائم اللي عندنا the overflowing inboxes يعني ايه بقى overflowing inboxes overflowing inboxes يعني our inboxes are overflowing اه ان يعني ال زي النوتيفيكيشن مليان او ان انت مليان stuffed calendars والكالندر مليان and endless to do lists to do lists ما بتخلصش according to the basic bandwagon mindset مفهوم ايه الحنطور المليان او العربية المليانة bandwagon If you hantur me, me hantur me. Yeah, I'm sure. Mindset: If you want to meet the demands of the modern workplace and function in modern society, you must fill every minute with productivity. لازم كل اللي دي من عندك من وقتك توبة انتجية. After all, everyone else is busy. If you slow down, you would fall behind, and you will fall fall behind and never catch up. The second force competing for your time is what we call the infinity pools. <تصفيق> تاني قوة اتفقنا أول واحدة هي البيزي باند واجن حنطور المشغول تاني واحدة وهو الانفينيتي بولز البح ال ال الحمام اللانهائي أو ال يعني بول بنتقال على ال يعني زي زي كأنه حمام سباحة مليان كده انفينيتي بولز الحمام الغير اللي ملوش نهاية الحمام اللي ملوش نهاية البحر مش نهاية or apps and other sources of endlessly if of endlessly رحت فين of endlessly replenishing replenishing content يعني replenishing بقى replenishing طويل okay replenishing content or apps and other sources of endlessly replenishing content that makes no sense fill up again تملى تاني اللي بيتملي تاني يعني ال applications و ال راحت فين يخرب بيت كده يا جدعان لا لازم اشتري كتاب ما ما <hesitation> infinity راحت فين apps and other sources والمصادر التانية اللي بتتملي تاني if you call if you can pull to refresh it's infinity pull pull يعني كل لما بتبعد بتشدك تاني عشان ترجع تعملها تاني it's streams كده it's an infinity pools this is always a, this always available always new entertainment is your reward for the exhaustion of constant business ده اللي انشغال الدائم زي applications that social media but in constant business really mandatory <coughs> هل هي فعلا مهمة is endless distraction really a reward ان انت تكون دائما مشغول هل ده مكافأة or are we all just stuck on autopilot ولا احنا كلنا ماشيين automatically most of our time is spent by default both forces the busy bandwagon and the infinity pools are powerful because they, are, they have become our defaults in technology lingo default means the way something works when you first start using it mm. okay it's a pre-selected option يعني ال bandwagon ال busy bandwagon وال infinity pools بعد هي الديفولت بالنسبة لك it's pre-selected and if you don't do th- something to change it it's a default انا مش شايف اصلا 
repeat that default is what you get for example for example if you buy a new phone by default you get email and web browser apps on home screen by default you get a notification for every new message the phone has a default wallpaper image and a default ringtone all these options have been pre-selected by Apple or Google or whatever made your phone you can change that settings if you want to but it takes work so many defaults just stick there are defaults in nearly every part of our lives it's not just our devices our workplaces and our culture have built-in defaults that make busy and that make that make busy and distracted the normal typical state of affairs بيقول لك الحاجات الديفولتس دي الديفولت اللي هو بدائي مبدئي مثلا او الطبيعي المبدئي خلينا نقول مبدئي الحاجات المبدئية دي اللي هي اللي انت مش عارف ترجمتها عربي تكون ايه الديفولت دي ديفولت ال وات مهمل تخلف يخرج وات ذا فاك ذا ديفولت <تصفيق> الحاجات المبدئيه دي مبدئيه خلينا نقول مبدئيه is nearly every part of our lives it's not just our devices دي هي مش بس في الاجهزه our workplaces and our culture have built in defaults that makes busy and distracted the normal يعني مش بس في الاجهزه وفي التكنولوجيا بيكون في ديفولتس لا ده في الورك في اماكن العمل في في الثقافه في الحضاره في كل حاجه فيها ديفولت هي اللي بتشتت وتخليك مشغول عن الطبيعي عن التيبيكال ستيت اوف افيرز ذيس ستاندرد سيتنجز ار ايفريوير الستاندرد او الديفولت في كل مكان nobody ever looked at an empty calendar and said the best way to spend this time is to cram it full of random meetings مش حد هيبص للكالندر او النتيجه ويقول احسن حاجه اعملها ان انا افضي كلام يعني كلام يا عم اقعد يا عم اخرب بيتك كام ان انا املا ال اوريدي كومبليتلي فيل كلام فول اوف راندوم ميتنجز ان افضل حاجه اعملها ان انا املا الكالندر ذيس تايم فين ذا بيست وايز تو سبيند This time is to cram it full of random meetings. Nobody ever said the most important thing today is everybody else's whims. Whim. Whim. Nazwa. Nazwa. Of course not. That would be crazy. But because of defaults, it's exactly what we do. And the Dutch film kid out all and I what? لا بس ده بضيع وقت ما ينفعش مش ممكن حد يقعد تقول انا هضيع وقت في اي كلام in the office every meeting defaults to 30 or 60 minutes even if the business at hand actually requires only a quick chat by default other people choose that goes on our calendars and by default we are expected to be okay with back to back to back meetings يعني ايه back to back to back no facing the opposite direction and often touching what coming اللي بيقولوا معدين يعني مع بعض يقول لك الطبيعي ان انت بتختار what goes in on our calendar by default we are expected to be okay with back to back to back meetings the rest of our work defaults to email and messaging systems and by default we check our inboxes constantly and reply, reply all immediately okay react to what's in front of you be responsive fill your time be efficient and get more done these are the default rules of busy bandwagon busy 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 
when we tear ourselves away from the busy bandwagon, the infinity pools are ready to lure us in. The infinity pools are ready to lure us in. And the lot of busy bandwagon dealt in the infinity pools. When the busy bandwagon defaults to endless tasks, the infinity pools defaults to endless distraction. Okay, busy bandwagon, you do everything, not just one percent. الانفينيتي بولز هو فراغ تشتيت للمنتهي defaults to endless distraction our phones, laptops, televisions are filled with games, social feeds and videos everything is at our fingertips فين irresistible irresistible ما تقدرش تقاومه even addictive addictive every bomb of friction is smoothed away Every bomb of friction, of friction, يعني إذا bomb of friction كل الاحتكاك بيمشي bomb of friction. Bomb of friction. Wait, it's actually friction curve. Every bomb of friction is smoothed away. Refresh Facebook, browse browse YouTube, keep up with none with the non-stop breaking news. Play Candy Crush, bingo watch HTB HBO. It bingo watch, but binge watch, binge, binge watch. Pinge mm. Watch HBO These are the breaking news These are These are the faults behind the Ravenous rev Infinity Pools Ravenous Ravenous Infinity Pools Devouring every scrap of time the busy bandwagon leaves behind with the average person devouring every scrap of time devouring طبعاً اللي هو ترجمة كل كلمة لحاجة من هنا بستين يل تلتهم devouring every scrap of time the busy bandwagon leaves behind with the average person spending four plus hours a day on their smartphone and another four plus hours watching TV shows distraction is quite literally a full time job. There you are in the middle pulled in opposite distraction this directions by the busy bandwagon. And the Zatoki film Tosaf Majdud will busy bandwagons be and the infinity pools in the head with them in the head. But what about you, what do you want from your days and from your life? What would happen if you could override override these defaults and create your own? Willpower isn't the way out. Listen, we try to resist the siren song of those forces ourselves, but we know how impossible it can be. We also spent years working in technology in the technology industry and we understand those apps, games and devices well enough to know that they eventually will wear will wear you down. Productivity isn't the solution solution either. We've tried to shave time off chores and cram in more to do's that the trouble, tr tr trouble is, there are always more tasks and requests waiting to take their places. Their place. The faster you run on the hamster wheel, the faster it spins. But there is a way to free your attention from those com competing distractions and take back control of your life. That's where this book book comes in. Make time is a framework for choosing what you want to focus on, building the energy to do it, and breaking the default cycle so that you can start being more international 
about the way you live your life even if you don't completely control your own schedule and if you us do you absolutely can't control eh? even if you don't completely control your own schedule and few of us do you absolutely can control your attention حتى لو مش قادر تتحكم في السكيدجول بتاعك فانت تقدر تتحكم في الاتنشن التركيز صح؟ I don't know we want to help you set your own defaults with new habits and new mindsets you can stop reacting to the modern world and start actively making time for the people and activities that matters to you this isn't about saving time it's about making time for what matters the ideas in this book يعني انت مش ان انت تعمل وقت ان انت توفر وقت لا يعني انت تخلي وقتك في الحاجات اللي تستاهل the ideas in this book can give you space in your calendar in your brain in your days that space can bring clarity to come to every day in your, to, to everyday life that space can bring clarity and calm وضوح وهدوء في كل يوم في حياتك everyday life it can create opportunities it can create opportunities to start new hobbies or get to that someday project a little space in your life might even unlock creative energy a little space in your life might even unlock creative energy to you lost or never found in the first place but before we get into all that we would like to explain who the heck we are why are so obsessed with time and energy and how we come up with the make time خلينا نشوف مين هم جيك and جيزي meet the time dorks we are جيك and جيزي we are not rocket building billionaires like Elon Musk and some Rush Ra Ra Renaissance Renaissance men like Tim Ferriss يعني Renaissance Renaissance Oh, mean about Tim Ferriss now? Tim Ferriss, American entrepreneur. Be a millionaire, Gilda. Katabin, four hours. Marin. Sorry to say it. Renaissance. Renaissance. So, Tariq Dali. Or genius executives like Sheryl Sandberg. Family Sheryl Sandberg. Chief rating officer of Facebook. Hmm. Most time management advice is written by or about superhumans. But you will find no superhumanity in these pages. We are normal, fallible, fallible human beings. Fallible. And مش مش ما زوم مش اسمه إيه ما زوم من الخطأ ما ما ممنوع من الخطأ. Oh God. مش فاكر. Human beings who get stressed out and distracted just like everyone else. What makes our perspective unusual is that we are product designers. There are product designers who spent years in tech industry helping to build services like Gmail, YouTube, and Google Hangouts. As designers, our job was to turn abstract ideas like "Wouldn't it be cool if email sorted itself?" Yeah, into real-life solutions like Gmail's priority inbox. We had to understand how technology fits into and changes daily life. This experience gives us insight into why infinity pools are so compelling. Ah, uh, infinity pools and how to prevent them from taking over. A few years ago, we realized we could apply design to something invisible: how we spend, how we spend our time. من سنين الناس دي فكرت, realized, اكتشفت إن هو 
ممكن يشغل يعمل الديزاين ده على على شيء مخفي مش لازم يكون موجود how we spend our time but instead of starting with the technology or business opportunity we started with the most meaningful projects of the most and the most important of our lives which is time each day we try each day we try to make a little time for our own personal top priority كل يوم الناس دي عملت ايه we try to make عملت شوية صغير شوية وقت لأهم حاجة شخصية أولوية شخصية ليهم we question the defaults of the basic bandwagon and they designed and redesigned بدأوا يتساءلوا عن الحاجات البدائية المبدئية في البيزي باند واجن الديفولت الحاجات الديفولت انا قوم مبدئية لما اسمها ديفولت وخلاص الحاجات الديفولت في البيزي باند واجن and redesigned our to do lists and calendars we question the defaults of our infinity pools and redesigned how and when we used technology we don't have limitless willpower ما عندهمش ما عندهمش ارادة غير محدودة so every redesign had to be easy to use كل كل تصميم الوقت ده كان سهل الاستخدام مش superior we couldn't erase every obligation ما دروش يشيلوا كل الالتزامات so we worked with constraints كان في عوائق we experimented failed and succeeded and over time we learned in this book we will share the principles and tactics and tactics we've discovered along with many table tales of our human errors and dorky solutions في الكتاب ده هم هيشاركوا التاكتكس والمبادئ اللي اكتشفوها مع قصص عن الاخطاء والحلول الغبيه اللي عملوها we thought this one was a good place to start the back story اول حاجه اللي نبداو هيبداو بيه القصه ما وراء هذا الكتاب back story part 1 the distraction free iphone <تصفيق> اول حاجه عملوها ان هم <تصفيق> عملوا ايفون خالي من التشتت that's what i'm doing since 2020 it was 2012 كان العام كان عام س... س... 2012 and my two sons وعياله الاثنين كانوا بيلعبوا بالقطر الخشب في غرفة المعيشة لوك لوك عنده 8 سنين was likely assembling the truck كان بيجمع القطر بينما فلين كان لسه عيل صغير لسه بيبي drooled on the locomotive لوم... I have no idea what this means drooled on loco locomotives is it like loco بتاعت الاسباني locomotives ولا ديت ال كان بي ايه كان متحمس and Luke picked his head up and said Luke راح واقف يا معلم راح رفع راسه وقايل يابا why are you looking at your phone انت بص على تليفونك ليه his question wasn't intended to make me feel bad he was just curious but I didn't have a good answer I mean sure there was probably some excuse for checking my email right at the moment but not a great one all day I've been looking I'd been looking forward to spending time with my kids and now that I was finally happening it was finally happening I wasn't really there at all and that mo- that moment someone something clicked it wasn't just that I had succumbed to one moment of distraction في الوقت ده اكتشف ايه معلم it wasn't just that I had succumbed
succumbed. Scummed. 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 Succumbed. Succumbed. ماشي. <تصفيق> عندك في الوقت ده ما كانش استسلم يعني to one moment of distraction ما كانش استسلم يعني ناس تسلم صح؟ يعني استسلم خلاص اوكي سكم تو وان مومنت اوف ديستراكشن اي هاد ا بيجر بروبلم افري داي اي ريلايز ذا واز ري اكتنج تو ماي كالندر تو انكمينج ايميل تو ذا انفينيتي ستريم اوف نيو ستاف اون ذا انترنت مومنتس ويز ماي فاميلي وير سليبينج باست مي اند فور وات سو اي كود انسر وان مور مسج اور تشيك اوف انذر تو دو ذا ريلايزيشن واز frustrating because I was already trying to find balance when Luke was born in 2003 I'd set out on a mission a mission to become more productive at work so that I could spend more quality time at home I considered myself a master of productivity and efficiency I kept res res reasonable hours and I was and was home in time for dinner every night. This was what work-life balance looked like, or so I believed. But if that was the case, why was my eight-year-old son calling out, calling me out for being distracted? If I was so on top of things at work, why did I always feel so busy and scattered? If I started the morning with 200 emails, and got to zero by midnight. Was it really a successful day? Then it hit me. Being more productive didn't mean I was doing the most important work. So it only meant I was reacting to other people's priorities faster. As a result of being constantly online, I wasn't present enough with my children. And I was perpetually putting off my big someday goal of writing a book. In fact, I would procrastinate, procrastinating, procrastinated. Yani, maksi? Procrastination. 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 Procrastinating. Procrastinating. Procrastination. Procrastination. The motor. Fin. Fin. Beta. Kul mar kul mati. Perpetually putting off my big someday. I was, in fact, I'd procrastinated, procrastinated for years without typing so much as as a page. I had been so busy treading water in in a sea of other people's emails. Other people's status, updates, and snap shots of other people's lunch. I wasn't just disappointed in myself, I was pissed off in a fit of irritation. A fit of irritation. Instead of being annoyed, Zach. I grabbed my phone and furiously uninstalled Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and each icon disappeared from my home screen. I felt a way lift. Then I started at the Gmail app and gritted my teeth. At that time, I had a job at Google, and I'd spent years working on the Gmail team. I loved Gmail, but I know what I had to do. I can still remember the message that popped up on the screen asking me almost in disbelief if I was sure I wanted to remove the app I swallowed hard and tapped delete I seriously want to delete gmail are you nuts without my apps I expected to feel anxiety and isolation isolation and in the days after that I did notice a change but I wasn't stressed, and instead I felt relief, I felt free. I stopped reflex re reflexively reaching, reaching for my iPhone at a slightest hint of boredom. Time I exactly works for me. 
انا لما مسحت الابلكيشنز من سنتين ولا حاجه يا اخي الواحد كان وصل لمرحله ان هو ايدك بتتحرك لوحدها تروح تفتح الابلكيشنز حاجه غبيه جدا انا مسحت حتى فيسبوك يوتيوب آه طبعا ما كانش عندي تويتر اصلا هو انستجرام ولا الكلام ده والله كمية حتى على على اللاب هنا انا عامل مثلا ايه بلوك فيسبوك لو جيت افتح فيسبوك بلوكت احلى حاجه اي حاجه ديستراكتد شيل يعني هو فيسبوك بس من البراوزر من التليفون يا الله كمية الابلكيشن دي ايه الخرج اللي طالع ده الابلكيشن دي ادكتف بشكل غبي يعني اوكي نشوف هو الراي بقى هيوصل لايه بعد كده I stopped reflexively, reflexively, reaching for my iPhone at the slightest hint of boredom. Time with my kids slowed down in a good way. Holy smokes! I thought, if the iPhone wasn't making me happier, what about everything else? I loved my iPhone and all the futuristic powers it gave me. But I also had, uh, but also had accepted every default that came with Zeus powers, leaving me constantly tethered. Any tethered? Or both? Okay. Fin. Tethered. Like a tethered. Tether. Tether. تذا شفت وين تذا 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 امريكا تذر تذر وير ووز ات وير وير ووز ات كونستانتلي تذرد تو ذا شايني ديفايس ان ماي بوكيت اي ستارت وندرين هاو ماني اذر بارتس اوف ماي لايف نيدد تو بي ري اكزامند ري سيت اند ري ديزايند ري ديزايند وات اذر ديفولتس ووز اكسبتينج بلايندلي And how could I take charge? Soon after my iPhone experiment, I took a new job. I was still at Google. Only now I work at Google Ventures. A venture, venture, not as they. Venture. 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 Yeah, you start the same thing. Venture. 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 Tell Google, Google, Gamet. Venture. Capital firm that invested money in outside startups. <coughs> the first day there, I met a guy named John Zaratsky. John Zaratsky. What did he write? G Z I O. John Zaratsky. Howdy. Nice to meet you. Howdy. Nice to meet you. At first, I wanted to dislike him. John is younger and, let's be honest, better looking. <clears throat> than I am even more respectable however his constant calm John was never stressed he competed important work ahead of schedule he somehow found time for side projects he wore early he woke early finished work early went home early he was always smiling what the hell was his deal Well, I ended up getting along just fine with John, or as I call him, Jay Z. I soon discovered he was a kindred spirit. My brother from another mother, if you will. Like me, Jay Z was disillusioned, disillusioned, uh, with disillusioned. 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 Kaybet Lamel. 
disappointed. Disillusioned, I think. Disillusioned with busy bandwagon. We both love technology and had spent years designing tech services. While I was at Gmail, he was at YouTube. But we were both beginning to understand the cost of these infinity pools to our attention and time. Are you kidding me? You both work at Google and you still need to organize your time. And like me, Jay-Z was on a mission to do something about it. Just actually, no one's name is of Google or Litney, I don't wish Kalama, I don't know what What's what else you want there? Yeah, the Dimish Ladder, the Dimish Ladder, the Ladder for Rida. And I can, I can say, the Flus Mishkulag. Of course, it's not. Any Rida Rida on FC, mentally. And like me, Jay Z was on a mission to do something about it. He was kind of like Obi Wan Kenobi. Who the fuck is this? About his stuff, Obi Wan, Obi Wan. Oh, Star I didn't, I didn't watch Star Wars. Obi Wan Kenobi. Okay. Obi Wan Kenobi about his stuff. Only instead of a robe, he wore plaid shirts and jeans. And instead of the Force, he was interested in what's called. Williams, a legendary Jedi. Je I don't know if it's worth it. Kenobi was. There are too many movies. Star Wars movies. List. There are too many. No, 1977. Are you kidding me? Like 2017. I think they had a even newer movie. I don't know. You know, they could have learned Star Wars, I thought they had like 20 or something. I don't know. I'm it. Oh my god. Someone's a main time. I feel not sad, that's what I knew. Episode 6. Hell, episodes? Oh my god. I'm not going to be able to can Obi Wan Kenobi get off Nafso. Like in Obi Wan can be able to rope, can be able to shirt with jeans. And then instead of the force, he was interested in what's called the system. It was almost mythical. mystical. He didn't know exactly. What it was, but he believed it existed. Simple framework and a very digger. Oh, from the Russian idea, that's a good progress. And خلاص كم مرة. ورد الفكرة من بعدنا نشوفها بخلص. At the end, it's five hours. Seven. Seven. So it's how much time? Control is start to F. So how much? I have no idea. وانا انا عملت ايه كمان i believe that it exists a simple framework for avoiding distractions maintaining energy and making more time i know it sounded kind of weird to me too but the more he talked about what such a system could look like, the more I found myself nodding my head. Jay-Z was way into ancient human history and evolution psychology, and he was he saw that part of the problem was rooted in the huge disconnect between our hunter-gathering root, gatherer roots and our crazy modern world. He looked through he looked through the lens of a product designer and figures his this is this system this system would work only if it changed our defaults, making distractions harder to access, instead of relying on willpower to constantly find them. Okay. Well, heck, I thought. If we could create this system, it would be exactly what I was looking for. So I think that was Jay-Z and the quest began. The backstory, part, part two, the dorky quest to make time. Jay-Z. Jake's distraction free iPhone was a bit extreme. So this is from Jay Z's point of 
view. Jake's distraction-free iPhone was a bit extreme, and I admit, I didn't try it right away. But once I did, I loved it. Yes, it's... I promise you, if you tried this, this is, this is so good. Applications will make you feel like the life will change you. In reality, the life has a lot of choices. But once I did, I loved it. So the two of us began searching for us and redesigns ways to switch our default settings from distracted to focused. I started reading the news only once a week and reprogrammed my sleep schedule to become a morning person. Ah, that's useless. I experimented with eating six small meals a day and then tried eating just two large ones. I adapted I adopted different different exercises exercise regim regimens what? Regi regi not exactly bit Regimen. Regimens. Exercise regimens. From distance running to yoga class classes to daily push ups. I even persuaded my programmer friends to build me customized to do app to to do lists uh, list apps. Meanwhile Jake spent the full year tracking his daily energy levels in a spreadsheet trying to understand <coughs> whether he should drink coffee or green tea whether he whether he should exercise in the morning or the evening and even whether he liked being around people the answer yes mostly we learned a lot from this obsessive behavior but we were interested in more than just what worked for us we still believed in the idea of a system that anyone could trailer in their own life. To find it, we'd need some humanist subjects besides ourselves. And as luck would have it, we had a perfect laboratory. While working at Google, Jake created some, something he called a design sprint. Design sprint. Basically, a work a work week redesigned from the group up. The work week redesigned from the group up, the ground up. For five days, a team would cancel all meetings and focus on solving a single problem. I'm going to tell you how Jake did something called Sprint, the design sprint. تصميم السرعة السبرنت هي سبرنت ما لهاش ترجمة بيسكلي الشد بسرعة سبرنت ديزاين سبرنت مش عارف سبرنت وخلاص ديزاين سبرنت بيسكلي ا ورك ويك اسبوع عمل مصمم ريديزايند مصمم من التحت لفوق من ابرة الصاروخ فور فايف دايز لمدة خمس ايام الفريق هيكنسل كل الاجتماعات ويركز على مشكلة واحدة فقط following a specific checklist of activities ويتلوها لستة محددة من النشاطات it was our first effort at designing time rather than products دي كانت أول محاولتهم في إن هما يديزاين الوقت بدل المنتجات it was it, and it worked the design sprint quickly spread across google في 2012 we started working together to run design sprints with startups in Google Ventures portfolio. في 2012 بقى بدأوا إيه؟ بدأوا يشتغلوا مع بعض على إن هما ي يعملوا design sprints في ال startups in Google Ventures portfolio. مش عارف يعني. Over the next few years we ran more than 150. What the fuck is this? Same. You're tasty, or the old toilet. So I need to get a new one. Same.
تقدر تشرح كل حاجه قاعده قدام الباب يلا نكمل while working at google فين في 2012 بداوا بقى ايه يا معلم يشغل الديزاين بدل ما في ستارت ابس في جوجل فينشرز بورتفوليو مش عارف يعني يعني ايه جوجل فينشرز بورتفوليو over the next few years we ran more than 150 these five day sprints في خلال عدة سنوات عملوا 150 واحدة من ال 5 day sprints nearly a thousand people participated programmers, nutritionists, CEOs باريستاس ايه الباريستاس؟ باريستا اللي هو فارمرز باريستا اللي هو Barista, a person who serves in a coffee bar. Oh, barista. 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 <coughs> Where were we? And more. For a couple of time, dorks. And for a couple of, for a couple of time, dorks. The whole thing was an amazing opportunity. We had the chance to redesign the work week and learn from thousands from hundreds of high performing teams at startups including Slack, Uber, Uber and 23 and me. It went 3 and me. 23 and me. I never heard of it. Biotechnology. Uh -huh. 23 and me. Okay. Many of many of the participants behind Make Time were inspired by what we discovered in those sprints. Wait, you know what? I think I missed tags. How did I change? I lost those ones. Come on, day. Okay. What's the fuck? Many of the principles behind Make Time were inspired by what we discovered in those sprints. For our lessons from the Design Sprint Laboratory. In design sprint laboratory. The first thing we the first the first thing we learned was that was that was was that something something magic happens. When you start the day with one high priority goal, each sprint day we draw attention to one big focal point. Focal Focal do you say focus? Focal. Oh, they focus. Focus relating to the center. Focal. Uh, right, fine. Focal point. On Monday, the team creates a map of the problem. On Tuesday, each person sketches 
one solution. يوم الأربعاء زي بيقررون الحل الأفضل. يوم الخميس و بي بيلد ذا بروتوتايب النموذج. و فرايداي زي بيجربوا هذا البروتوتايب. Each day goal is ambitious but it's just one thing. The focal point, this focal point creates clarity and motivation. When we have one ambition, ambitious but achievable goal, at the end of this day we're done. You're done. You can check it off. Let go of your work and go home satisfied. Another lesson from our design spirit was that we got more done when we banned devices. Yo, see that? Now look at this can eh? We learned that something magic happens when you start your day with high priority goal. Then that's we get more get more when we banned devices. Since they we set the rules, we were able to prohibit laptops and smartphones and the difference was phenomenal without the constant lure of email and other infinity pools people brought their complete attention to the task at hand and the default switch it to focus we also learned about the importance of energy f for focused work and clear thinking when we first started running design sprints, teams worked long hours fueled by sugary treats late in the week, energy would plummet. <coughs> so we made adjustments. Energy would plummet. Importance of energy for focusing, focused work and clear thinking. When we first started running design sprints, team worked long hours fueled by sugary trees. Late in the week, energy would plummet. We ill and we made adjustments. And so, how things like to health, like a healthy lunch, a quick walk, frequent breaks, and slightly shorter work day help it maintain peak energy resulting in better, more effective work. Okay, lastly, those, these experiments taught us the power of whale experiments. Experimenting allows us to improve the process and seeing the results of our changes firsthand gives give us a deep confidence that we never could have built just by reading out someone else's results, of course. Our spirits, our, our sprints require the whole team and the whole week. But we could see right away that there are no reason individuals couldn't redesign their day in a similar way. The lessons we learned became the foundation for make time. Of course it wasn't a yellow brick road to perfection. We still got swept up in the busy bandwagon and sucked into the infinity pools of distraction now and again although some of our tactics turned into habits others sputtered and failed but taking stock of our results each day helped us understand why we tripped up and this <coughs> experiment approach also allowed us to be kinder to ourselves when we made mistakes, after all, every mistake was just a data point, and we could always try again tomorrow. Despite our stumbles, make time was resilient. We found ourselves with more energy and headscape, headspace than we would ever had, and we were able to make, to take on bigger projects that kinds of someday things we'd never been able to get around before. Nice. Jake, we all like I wanted to start writing in the evenings, but realized that the lure of watching TV was a big problem. Problem. So I experimented and made a serious change to my defaults. Putting the DVD player in the closet and unsubscribing from Netflix with the freed up time, I started working on the adventure novel and I suck with it pausing only when we wrote our book sprint 
Writing was something I would wanted to do since I was a kid and making time for it felt awesome. What is it all the way for years, my wife Michelle and I had dreamed of taking long sailing trips together. So we bought an old sailboat and started spending our weekends fixing it up. We applied the same tactic of choosing one daily task and putting time on the calendar to get it done and as a result, as a result, Made time to learn about this diesel, it was called diesel, engine maintenance, maintenance, electricity, and ocean navigation. Together, we've now sailed from San Francisco to Southern California, Mexico, and beyond. Ha ha ha! Meshi, kveke do narda ban. Bokra vaikda. Spend one hour. Camel Bokra. What? <laughs> 